Namaste everyone, Rohit here from Indie One Up, and in this video, I am going to show you how to add FreeSync on a non-supported display. In my case, I am using LG OLED C9 that already support variable refresh rate but doesn't support FreeSync. The method that I am going to cover has a high chance of working on modern TVs, although the refresh range that we will be discussing later in the video will vary with most of the TVs and monitors. There are various TVs in market that offer variable refresh rate or in short VRR support and monitors that offer G-Sync support. On both of these display devices, this method has near about full chance to work as they already support FreeSync in some other brand name. Ok so now we are going to download the custom resolution utility CRU in short and you need to download it from this link. Click on this link. Let it open and then you need to download this CRE 1.4.2 .zip. Once you downloaded it, you need to extract this file and you can extract it with any software you want to. Once extracted, it will look like this and we'll have these files. Now the second thing that you would like to download is a demo made by NVIDIA company called NVIDIA Pendulum Demo. This is actually used to check whether FreeSync is working or not correctly. And you would not like to download it from here because the latest version doesn't allow you to use it on AMD. So you would like to download 1.0 demo or previous versions of it. And you need to go through this link or any other link that has the same version available. This is software informal link. As I told you, you can use any link. And you need to download it from this green bar, green button. Once you click it, it will tell you that it is, it belongs to 5 March 2014, old enough for our purpose. So we are going to download this. Save this file. I already saved it. So I am going to cancel. Okay, once downloaded, it will look like this setup. Double click on it to install it. Next, agree. Next. And next. Done. Change the configuration accordingly. Mine is full HD, so I'm gonna select that. Okay. And we will be using this to finally check if our FreeSync is working or not. Okay, let me show you how AMD panel looks like before our mod. Let's go to gaming, global display setting, and you can clearly see that the radon FreeSync is disabled or oh, not disabled it is not supported right it's here in the display tab not supported unclickable if we check the display specs these are the limited display specs available there is nothing else that could tell us that the radon freezing can be enabled or not okay now the real part Open that extracted folder and run this particular file. Now make sure that your display is checked active, not the second one, the active one. One selected. Go to this extension block, CEA861. Double click on that. Now you will see that we are under CEA 861 and these are data blocks that we need to change. Go to add. You will see that the FreeSync range one is disabled. You cannot add that. And the reason for that is not enough bytes left. Just three bytes are left here. And that particular block I believe Nick requires 9 bytes or something. We are going to delete the useless resolutions. 
I particularly do not need these sub 30 hertz resolutions. You can delete whatever resolution you do not need. And we have 14 bytes left now. Let's try again adding. Okay. Can add now everything. Select the free sync range. Click on OK. And you need to input the limits. As we discussed earlier, that the limits, these are the range limits of your display. And if you are having the display identical to mine, you can input 40 to 120 hertz because these are my limits. But if you don't, then you will have to change the limits accordingly. Like 48 to 60 is the safest bet your display is going to work. Right. And it could be lower one or it could be higher one. 40 to 60, 40 to 120. That is mine limit. Right. You could edit. You could try going on lesser on the minimum range and more on the maximum range. Just know what kind of display you have currently. Most of people have 60 hertz. They could try 65, 68, 70, 75 hertz. This is basically overclocking. If your monitor overclocks, it will be able to use that free sync range too. If it in first place is capable of doing this particular mod, right? You can do similar things on minimum range as well. Okay, I am going to input my range and click OK. These are 9 bytes as I told you. HDMI support is particularly must for this. So you do not make sure you do not delete th that block or otherwise it will be this mod will be in ruins. This is our freezing range. And we cannot add anything now. As only five bytes are left. Okay, it's okay. Okay, and you need to restart now. After a driver restart, it will blink for a while. And now let, let's check on the display panel. It used to be not supported. Okay, hooray, the free sync is disabled. Now we can, I believe, enable. Yes. It's in the display tab and FreeSync is now enabled. Let's check on the display specs. Yep, our applied setting is at least showing in the panel 40 to 120 reported by the display. Now the final task is to check the work. Sorry for this. It is not a screen recorded video. It is handheld device recorded video. And the reason for that is for unknown reason actually. Radon Relief is skipping frames when recording at 60 FPS. And I am unable to show you if it is skipping any FPS. And the sole purpose of FreeSync will be defeated here. Okay, it is showing 50 FPS and it's smooth. The, the blinking as you can see is because the camera is 60 recording at 60 FPS and the screen is trying to use variable frames to smooth out the current situation and that is creating that blinking pattern. So if we disable this, the blinking should go off. Let's try to disable it. And yes, as you can see, the blinking goes, went off. Blinking is on. That means we are now out of sync with the camera. That means the screen is in sync with the graphic card. Whatever the FPS is output by the graphic card, screen is adjusting to it. As you can see that the tearing is, it is tearing without the free sync on. Right. It is tearing. See those lines? You would be able to 
see it better when you do it on your computer. Once enabled, everything becomes smooth at even sub 60 FPS and the tearing went off. Do share this video so that others can know about this and this FreeSync can really be made freely available for everyone. And if you are interested in such mods, then I am creating few of these and the information is available on my Patreon page. It would be great if you join me on there. The link is in the description and see you guys in the next video.